Hello and welcome back to another Warcraft video. This time we're going to be talking about Worlds of Draenor and perhaps another version of how it could play out. So everyone is currently talking about time travel and there are a lot of problems with time travel and it's very possible that I think it would actually be a smaller role in the expansion than some people have said. Sure, we know the time travel could be a thing, but honestly it could just be a caverns of time set of instances or a caverns of time raid. It doesn't actually have to be the main plot element. Honestly, having the main plot element being going back to kill Grom Hellscream, I just think it would be very messy, very weird, and if we were to succeed, it would destroy the lore, so we couldn't succeed. Anyway, I think there's a good chance that we're actually going to space via a completely different means, and in this video, I'll be talking about Aurelia and Terulion. So, first, let's cover in, like, quick, sort of, um, the lore leading up to this. So, uh, General Terulian, um is a famous paladin who served in the Second War and really is one of the, well, is the eldest of the Windrunner sisters. That's Sylvanas and um, oh, the other one, the Silver Covenant one. Anyway, she was involved in the Second War, leading the Hives against uh, the Orcs, and a lot of her kin were killed, meaning that she was out for revenge for a very long time. Now, after the Second War, the Alliance sent an, ex um, sent an expedition through the Dark Portal with the aim of closing the portal and bringing about the end of the constant Orcish threat. And they managed to... well, they did They did succeed. They brought down Hellfire Citadel and they caused major damage to the Orcs. And soon after all this had went down, she sent a lot of her troops to aid the main forces in getting Ner'zhul. Um, but while this was going on, she accompanied uh, Terulian and Khadgar in getting the Skull of Gul'dan from Deathwing. Now, Khadgar used this on the Scroll of Medivh to close the Dark Portal, which is the reason why In the Burning Crusade had to be reopened again. And uh, very soon after, the planet was caught up in a cataclysmic event, which was basically the result of all the portals and magic, and then with the Dark Portal just being closed on top of that. It, the planet essentially just went nuclear, I suppose is the best way to say. Now, to avoid this, they jumped into the Twisting Nether, and uh, somehow they managed to survive this, and eventually returned to Draenor and to Honor Hold. And the thing is that while many of the expedition heroes are located in Outland, Aurelia and Terulian are absent. Now, these guys are two very important characters, and their return has been hinted at for quite a while, even appearing in the in-game menu tip, which says no one has heard from Aurelia or Terulian in years, and Metzen saying that when they will return, it will be big. Um, so, I'm... I'm definitely thinking this could be, this would definitely be an expansion opening moment, I would say. So, they did lead wars in Draenor, so I suppose they could be covered by the blanket statement of Warlords, which means that it would at least in part fit with the title of the expansion. Now, anyway, if there was a t uh, time for these guys to return so far in game, it either would have been the Burning Crusade or now. And now is just as good as any, especially since Rathian has been hinting at the Legion coming, and all signs point to us going into Outland or Draenor or space, essentially. So, how would this affect the story? Well, Blizzard can do whatever the hell they want with these two characters. We could visit a new planet entirely, such as the Draenei homeworld of Argus. Um, hell, we could even go to Koresh, which is the ethereal homeworld and any other amount of planets, really. You could go to the Demon Homeworld, as an example, or not the Demons, the, um, the Dreadlords. So many different planets, and because it's space, space is very big, there's lots of planets, lots of different kinds of demons, we could go to a ridiculous amounts of places. Um, so there's that. We could perhaps find a new fragment of Outland that has some bad stuff going on, or maybe just multiple of all these. I could certainly imagine going to different planets and things like that. Now, I do see a little bit of a problem with this in terms of a game design perspective, in that if you're constantly hopping from planet to planet to planet, it doesn't really feel like a cohesive world, and that's one thing the Cataclysm suffered from, and Blizzard have even admitted at this, in that a lot of the new zones, they were just kind of randomly strewn across the world, and it meant that the new Cataclysm experience didn't really feel like a, a kind of a brand new cohesive thing. So I think that's perhaps one reason why visiting multiple planets might be a thing, but I don't, like, I think I'm still pretty sure we will have a main planet, a main home base, that sort of thing. Now, it's likely that these two characters are very busy fighting the Legion, so whatever brings their return will probably be very large. Perhaps it's, um, perhaps they're on Argus at the minute, fighting demons or something like that, and uh, kill Jaden is actually going to attack us. Now, Kill Jaden attacking us would be a very major event because in the Burn Crusade, we didn't kill him. We just sort of pushed him back down that portal. Maybe he's found a way to get to Azeroth, bring the Legion with him, and uh, really and really in return to prepare us for the thing or get us to stop it or something like that. Um, so there could be that. They could be fighting just any amount of different things. There really is so much that they can do. 
Although I am, I'm convinced that it's going to be a very demon-focused expansion from the enemy perspective. Even if it was Warlords of Draenor and had the whole time travel element in it, this, the main problem would still be the demons because that would be going back to the time when the demons were manipulating the orcs. So, yeah, it's going to be demon related, and I think a really enter really on and actually going to places in the present day is far more compelling than having the whole time travel business just screwing up the lore, causing plot holes and paradoxes, because Blizzard, whenever they do time travel, it is nothing but paradoxes and bullshit. That is, that is just how they've managed to pull it off this far. And, um, yeah, I'm not really that uh, thrilled at the prospect of them continuing that. That said, there is a rather interesting way they can get there. I covered it in one of my videos, so do check out the channel for that. Anyway, that's it for the uh, for this video. Tell me what you think. If you like the video, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. And with that, I'll see you next time.